Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I wanted to continue my Meet My Rat series. Uh, and for today's video, I'm going to be focusing on my rat, French Fry. So French Fry was a dwarf rat that I got back at the beginning of 2023, which is the year that I'm recording this. And she was one of three senior rats I adopted from someone who unfortunately developed some chronic health issues, which were just making it impossible to care for her rats. So she had to find a new home for them. And because she posted uh, on a local rat group uh, called the Rat Enthusiast of Virginia, it's a Facebook group dedicated to, well, rat lovers in Virginia. Uh, but anyways, I'm part of that group because I'm in Virginia, and when I saw how close this person was to me, they were just like five minutes away, I got in touch with them and offered to take in the girls, and that's pretty much how I ended up getting French Fry, her sister Tater Tot, and their older cage mate Potato. Now, as far as French Fry's variety goes, uh, she was a Dumbo Dwarf Black Berkshire, and she was such a sweet rat. Super outgoing, super sweet super playful, just really amazing. Uh, she was so easy to train. She would pick up tricks super quickly. She's very accepting of other rats and she would bond with new rats pretty much immediately. She was just a really amazing rat. Now when I got her, she was a little over a year and a half old, so she was technically trending towards old age. However, I expected to have her for at least six more months, uh, and I was hoping for at least another year because dwarf rats are typically less prone to a lot of the more common cancers that a lot of female rats in particular get with old age. And as a result, most dwarf rats do tend to live a little bit longer than most standard rats, so I was hoping that french fry would be around for a good while. Well, unfortunately, it was not to be because in May, just a few months after I adopted Fry, um, she ended up developing a smelly ear and a lump under her ear. And unfortunately, uh, this was an indication of a Zimbel's gland tumor, which is a terminal type of facial tumor that rats can sometimes develop. It's pretty rare, but it can occasionally pop up. And unfortunately, there really are no viable treatments. There is a sort of experimental treatment with small animal radiation therapy, um, but it's very inaccessible and just was not really a possibility for us. I mean, there's no one within hundreds of miles who even had the technology to do it. Uh, and that's not even mentioning how unfortunately costly these treatments are. So because of that, and also because of how fast these tumors progress, uh, after a few weeks of palliative care, I unfortunately had to put Miss French Fry down. And it was a very difficult situation because she was only 23 months at the time, not even the average that most standard rats reach, let alone most dwarf rats. Uh, but ultimately, it was the best decision for her because she was starting to go downhill and it would not have been fair to keep her around. Um, so I had her humanely euthanized uh, at the end of that month. Anyways, uh, despite French Fry's story unfortunately being a little bit sad because she didn't have the long lifespan I wanted for her, um, she did still live a pretty good life, and I know she lived a good life with her prior owner, and in the few months that I had her, she was definitely a very happy and bouncy and sociable rat, so I feel like she lived a very good life. And yeah, French Fry was just a really incredible rat. Um, unlike her sister Tater Tot, she didn't suffer from obesity or anything like that. Uh, she was just completely healthy until this symbols gland issue hit her, uh, and she was a very happy and bouncy and sweet rat until the end. And yeah, French Fry was just an amazing rat. Um, she was so much fun to train with, so much fun to play with. She adored my other rats, especially my other dwarfs, but really all of my other rats. Uh, and she was just a really amazing rat. And I feel very lucky that I got to have her, even if it was only for a short while. So yeah, that's pretty much French Fry's story. Uh, French Fry really was an amazing rat. And while I will always wish that I got to have her longer, I'm very grateful for the time that I did have with her. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to meet Miss French Fry, uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!